All right, I'm using an Android phone to take a picture of a, another Android phone. This one is connected to the computer with a micro USB cable. So it's a physical connection that you, you use when you use Pygame Substitute for Android to run the uh, Android debugger. So I'm going to select settings. I have, would have needed to do this prior to running the last thing. Make sure that install from unknown sources is up. There's an option for developer development. You must select USB debug. few other things. So this is the this is the directory. I have a bunch of files in here. <clears throat> this file here is the main program. It has to be called main.py. So in the previous lesson the file was called something like mouse control. In this case you need to call the file main.py. I have a backup here. You don't need this file. Just make sure that your main program is called main.py. I have two graphic files in here. I have a android-icon.png. It must be called this if you use this. This becomes the icon on the mobile phone screen. So as you go through applications, there's these icons that you, you touch on and it launches the application. If you don't have this, it'll take a default animated snake or, or python uh, holding a game controller. So you don't actually need to have this file in here, but if you do want to customize it, it's very easy. It's, this is just a graphics file, android-icon.png. It needs to be this exact file name. The other one is the splash screen. This will briefly appear on the screen when you launch it. So between the time that you press the icon and the, the game starts playing, you do have a brief uh, pre-splash screen. It needs to be called this exact file name in a JPEG format. There's some documentation on the Pygame site to refer to. But that, that's, that's basically it. Then you need to have Pygame installed. So I've installed a Pygame subset for Android in this subdirectory. You could you can install it anywhere. It doesn't come with all these um, names of files. It's just, just our programs that we play around with. The key file is android.py and make sure it is .py. This is what we're going to use to configure it. So this assumes that everything is working properly. You don't have to mess around with the Android SDK, but it needs to be installed on your system. So you're, you're going to need to use ADB. Uh, it's automatically called by the script. However, if you run into a problem, you may actually have to access this thing to install the, uh, the Android package onto your phone. Right now, don't worry about it. Hopefully you won't get an error message and it'll just install it right in. So the, the other applications or tools that you're going to use. You're going to use a Ant and the actual Android from the Android SDK. Again, don't worry about this right now unless you do get an error and you may have to try to trace it. 
There is a form on the Pygame Software for Android site that you could ask questions to if you do run into problems. When I ran it on Ubuntu, it, it was fine. I did document the process on my blog, so you could go there. I did have to install um, some of the platforms. So I, I think I had to install Android 8 to get the base uh, Android on there. Okay. So don't worry about it unless you have a problem. You might just be able to just run it. So you need to first uh, configure it. And it, it has to be in the directory that you have your program in. So I've already configured it. I had to type in Pi Children as the name of my application. There you go. And then the shortcut name, I'm just using the same one, Pi Children. You could pick anything. This is the thing that's going to appear in the application shortcuts on your Android phone launcher. You need to pick some type of domain here. Uh, this is actually not a real domain that I'm using, but it's just for testing purposes. I'm not going to distribute this thing uh, globally on the internet. So as long as it's a unique domain, it's, it's, it should be fine. Version number, human readable, 1 is fine. Version number increase, 1 is fine. Uh, landscape or portrait mode, I usually use landscape mode. Most of the games are, you hold the phone sideways to use it. Single directory place and storage device. It's a pretty small program, so it should be fine. We're not using the uh, internet, but uh, I'll just take the defaults here. I don't need the library SQL Lite 3. I don't need the Py Python imaging library. I said no. So at this point, it should be configured. We're going to build it now. Your phone needs to be set up at this point in debug mode. You need to go into your phone settings and set up the developer options so that it's in debug mode. If you don't do that, the build will fail or the, the install process will fail. So let's, let's hope this one works. Build succeeded. We're going to take a look at the phone now. I'll cover some of the settings and show you how the game's running. This uh, application here is the one that we just installed.